Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to take a T-Mobile OnePlus 6T and convert it into the international version. Um, this is the one that you would get if you were to order the phone directly from OnePlus. Uh, this also allows us to receive updates from OnePlus directly uh, and you won't have to um, have any of the other T-Mobile apps and branding that, that the phone comes with when you purchase it from T-Mobile. Uh, you're also able to use the dual SIM feature of this phone provided you purchase a dual SIM tray from somewhere. Um, the T-Mobile one only comes up with only comes with uh, one hole in the tray. Uh, the other hole for the SIM card is is um, sort of molded over. Um, you could purchase one of these online or 3D print one if you have the capability to do that. Um, you won't need an unlocked boat bootloader or uh, a SIM unlock code in order to do this. We're just going to be using the three um, tools in this directory. So with that being said, let me go over the, um, the files and what they do. Um, I do also have uh, the website open here. This is the phone that we're going to be converting into the international version. Um, this is the T-Mobile variant. Uh, so yeah. The three files here I got off of XDA. Um, I will be posting a link to the XDA thread that, that sort of goes over the process of, of doing this. Um, it's, it's fairly well explained, but it seemed like a lot of people are having issues, so I figured I'd just make a video kind of outlining the, the process in its entirety. Um, the first file here um, is the file that we're going to be using to, or it's actually an archive, it's going to be extracted and used to do the actual flashing of the phone um, The to the international version. The second file here contains um, basically patched versions of the download tool um, that, that will allow us to flash any image of the phone. So they've basically been patched, uh, meaning they took the executable, dumped the the, uh, the source code, and then sort of removed the checks uh, to see which image you're flashing to the phone. Uh, if you're familiar with cracked software or anything like that, it's very similar. If uh, you download a, a pirated version of something and it has, say, removed the, uh, the, the, the function that checks the serial key, this is, this is similar. So somebody has stripped out um, the the checks that it makes to um, to see which which version or which image you're, you're flashing to the phone. And then the third file here is just the Qualcomm drivers and that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and extract these. Uh, and I'm just going to run the setup. So this first window is just telling us to select the USB Ethernet driver we want to use. I'm just going to keep the first one selected and hit next. And then I'm going to next through the installation, accept, next, install. We'll wait for that to finish here. Okay, now that that's finished, the driver for... Um, Qualcomm is actually installed. I'm just going to go ahead and delete both of these just so that we're not causing any confusion. So now I just have the, the download tool and then the patched executables that are, are inside of this directory. So I'm going to extract the, um, the first one here. Okay, and so we can see that inside of here we have this OPS file, which I believe is the actual image. Um, it's very large, uh, over 4 gigs, or about 4 gigs. Um, then we have an MD5 sum. Then the download tool itself, um, there's three executables for this, and then some sort of, um, I don't know what this is. And another file in here. I don't know what it is or what it actually does, but we're not going to touch it. So the second uh, folder here we're going to extract as well. And again, this contains the patched versions of the initial uh, tool executable. So you can see we added um, the patched um, McLaren and patched factory exe. Uh, 
again, this these two files are basically these two files above them, but with the checks stripped out um, to see which which version or which image is being flashed to the phone. And this is what sort of allows us to uh, complete this procedure. This tool won't let you um, flash the international OTA um, to the phone. Uh, sorry, won't allow you to flash the this image to the phone, but these two patched versions of this tool allow us to do that. Um, okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to power off the phone, and I don't have a good way to show you the screen of my phone while we're doing this, since it won't have an OS on it for a period of time, but everybody knows how to power down their phone. It's not that hard. <laughs> so that's happening right now. And... The second thing we're going to do here, or third thing we're going to do here, is we're going to press and hold the volume up and volume down keys um, at the same time. And while we're doing that, we're going to plug the USB cord into our PC. Now, there's a bunch of people on XDA saying you can't use 3.1 USB ports. I just have mine plugged into a regular USB 2.0 USB port. I recommend you do the same if you have it. If you want to, you can try the three uh, USB 3.1 or 3.0 USB ports and, and see if it works for you. But I see a lot of people who are saying that they have issues doing that. So again, holding down the power up and power down keys on the phone, I'm plugging in the USB cable. Okay, so let me just look here. Okay, I got the noise saying that it was um, seen. Now I am going to um, the I'm going to run the factory patched version of this tool. So it's MSM Download Tool V4.0 Factory Patch.exe. Click yes. So you can see here, I'm going to, uh, uh, this tool opens, first of all, so we see that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is click Start when I'm ready. So I'll click Start. And it's going to take some time here, but it's actually using the files that are inside of the directory that I ran the download tool in. So that uh, fajita410.18.ops file is what it's actually going to be um, using to do this with. So this is going to take some time. I'm just going to go on mute while this, while this flashes. Um, we'll be back in just a second. Just as an aside here, I should have mentioned this from the beginning, um, and I will put this in the YouTube uh, info under the video, but this does completely wipe your phone. So if you you know, have stuff on your phone that you need, you know, back them up to various places, your pictures and stuff like that if you haven't already. And we'll continue to wait here.
And after this completes, the phone should um, automatically reboot. And the first thing you'll notice is that the T-Mobile logo uh, won't show up. It'll be the uh, Oxygen OS um, logo. So we can see it's completed here, just waiting for that auto reboot. There it goes. I can see the OnePlus logo powered by Android at the bottom. And we should get some sort of splash screen. Might take a while for the first boot here. There it is. So I see the um, sort of red dot with the white balls um, going in a circle around it. That is now booting. And I'm just going to continue this video for a few more seconds to make sure everything uh, was perfect. And boots up. Um, now that we have done this, um, basically we can get OTAs, we can participate in the open betas, um, and you can also do the local upgrade too. Uh, so I think some of the open betas allowed you to download like a file, which then you could sideload to the phone um, without having to do it over the air. Just to give you a status update, we're still booting on the phone. Okay, the phone just vibrated. Now the logo has uh, finished. And you can see down here in the status menu, I've got, uh, it's trying to set up the drivers um, for the phone. And uh, now I have the hi there splash screen. I can get started setting up my phone like I would uh, if I purchased it directly from OnePlus. So that's the process. Um, it's not very difficult, um, but it does get a little confusing. Just make sure that you have everything. Um, make sure that you have everything in the right folder, right? You, you need to have all of these tools extracted inside of the uh, your sort of working dirt, right? Because it's looking for this, this fajita um, um, file in order to send to the phone and then obviously the tool that we're running is here and I believe it it probably looks for this too I'm not sure what this this particular folder this might be actually a security patch now that I think about it I do see a CVE in here so this could be some sort of security patch um, but yeah that's the process I hope everybody uh, successfully gets it done and if you have any questions you can head over to the XDA thread that I linked and um, uh, post those there or you can just Put them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to try to answer them for you. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.